Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a go at making a little flower plant pot. So I'm going to create a cake for the plant pot and we're going to pipe some buttercream flowers on the top using our Russian piping nozzles. So I'm going to start with a cake board that I've got pre-iced, so it's like a yellowy green colour. So I've used the Renshaw's lime green. I've got some six inch chocolate cakes that I've baked, so I've baked a few. Depends how tall you want your plant pot to be. The bit on the top that was a bit risen that I've cut off I am keeping to use later. And we're just going to sandwich together each of our cakes with a little bit of buttercream. And I've put a bit of sugar syrup on the top of each one just to keep them nice and moist. Keep layering up till you've got them as tall as you want them. So I've just got three on mine. And you can see when my sugar syrup's dripped down. Now I've got a slightly smaller cake card. So I've got a five inch cake card here that I'm putting on the bottom of my cake. So my cake's upside down. And what I'm doing is trimming from that cake card to my bottom cake at a slight angle. So this bit where my cake card is will be narrower than the other end of my cake. So I'm going to put a bit of buttercream on there. Let's stick our cake card on properly. I do make a bit of a mess when I'm buttercreaming. And you can do them in any sizes. So I've done another one just so you guys can see. So this is a four inch cake that I've used. And then it's a little three inch cake card on the top. For the sides of my cake, I'm using chocolate ganache. So it sets nice and firm so that my plant pot stays nice and rigid. So we're just going to put that all around the sides. And I'm going to use a tall scraper just to scrape around the edges. Just make sure that it has an ever so slight slant on the edge. You can't really tell very well on here, but it is a little bit wider at one end than the other. And you do really want to put it in the fridge for a little bit to let it set. You can put as many layers of ganache on as you want until you've got it nice and smooth. Just going to try to take it off the board. I'm going to turn it upside down. So that now is our top end. So I'm going to cover that top bit in chocolate buttercream. And I'm putting on the little off cut of cake from earlier. So this was just the top of one of my cakes because I want my plant pot to have a big mound at the top for my flowers to sit on. So if you've not, if it's not quite tall enough or not round enough on the top, just add some extra off cuts from your other cakes on there. Just keep building it up until you're happy with the height. So for my plant pots, I'm actually using some skin tone. Now I've got mine pre-dyed, but if you want to mix your own color, you can do. So I'm gonna roll out a nice long piece, long enough to wrap around my plant pot that I've just made. Just make sure your ganache has set before we do this. Just added a little bit of water, or you can use edible glue, to my fondant, and then we're just going to roll our plant pot into our fondant. So this is my smaller plant pot that I've got here. So this is the one I made using the four inch cake. So you can see by the time it's all together, it looks bigger. So we're just going to trim any extra off the bottom, and then we're going to trim down the back where the fondant meets or overlaps. Just give that little nudge together, rub that down a little bit until the seam becomes a little bit less obvious. And then we're going to trim around the top as well. The height I've trimmed this at is where the top of my ganache ended so that all that rounded piece of extra cake that we added on the top is still exposed. And we're going to add another strip now of the same colour. I'm going to cut mine so it's quite wide and I've gone for about two inches. We'll just start with a straight edge. I'm going to stick it on using a little bit of water. And I'm just going to roll my plant pot onto it now. If you've buttercreamed your plant pot rather than ganaching it, you can still ice it but you might have to hold the plant pot upright rather than rolling it onto the fondant like I have done. It just makes your cake a little bit firmer on the outside once it's ganached. So we've just gone round there. So can you see I've just lifted it slightly higher than my layer of fondant below. Just make sure it's even all the way around. So I've just got some of these Russian piping nozzles and I really wanted to have a bit of a play with them because it's not something that I often do isn't buttercream. I've got a seven petal rose one and I've also got a starburst one as well that I'll have a go with shortly. And I'm just going to colour some buttercream. So I'm going to use a baby pink buttercream. Just going to mix in some food colouring and we're just going to cut an end into a piping bag. So I'm just using some plastic piping bags for this. So I can just throw them away afterwards. Now I've actually kept some white buttercream to one side. So you can make quite a bit of buttercream. You can do these in whatever colours you like. I've tried to put a little bit of white on the edges of my piping bag. And then we're going to put some pink just on the inside of the bag. We're trying to leave a little bit in the middle for a deeper pink. And I'm adding some dusky pink into my buttercream just to deepen it a little bit. And then with this, we're just going to try and drop it right in the centre now of our piping bag. Give it a good squeeze. Get it to the bottom where our piping nozzle is. And if you want to have a bit of a play around, just pipe it on a little cake board or your working mat until you've got the hang of using them. So at first, all the different colours 
might not come out so you'll need to do it a few times so once you're confident with piping your flowers pipe them onto the top of your little plant pot now I'm still getting the hang of this so I tend to find some turn out a little bit better than others so you best press firmly at first and then release slightly as you pull away so you can see through a little bit to the chocolate buttercream but that's fine because we're going to add in some other flowers and also some leaves so let's have a go with this shaped one now and I will put links in the description box below the video so you can see exactly what we've used for this see if I can squeeze the odd one or two of these in I know I'm going to do the same on both of my cakes I've done these a little bit purpley I'll write in the description box below all the colours and we're going to pipe on some leaves using a leaf nozzle and you're just going to try and squeeze some leaves in around the top of the plant pot and anywhere really that you see a little bit of chocolate buttercream coming through and then just really have a play around with the nozzles and flowers Ooh, some bigger than others and with your little leaf nozzle so you can get larger and smaller leaf nozzles just depending on what you like best so this is the larger cake and I'm trying to do the same flower on this one so the little starburst nozzle but in different colours I quite like this one I'm just going to put some little leaves, can you see in between them? I like piping leaves, so mine's got lots of leaves around the bottom. And I've got my cake board again, so I'm just going to put some chocolate ganache that I had left from the cake earlier onto my board. Just make sure it's melted nicely. And then you can place your cake onto the board. Don't move it around until the chocolate ganache has had time to set quite hard. And it should stick these plant pots pretty firmly to our cake boards. So... You'll see they look quite large now to the cakes now they've got all the flowers on. So you've got a little bit of time to position it before the chocolate ganache sets. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit of edible soil to my board just to break up all the greenery and we're just using some Oreos. Now I don't need the cream bit in the middle so we're just going to remove that. So I'm just going to crush the biscuit part just with my rolling pin so it gives us some crumbs and we can throw these on as soil. Again, back to my ganache, just melt it a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the board. And then I'm going to sprinkle my soil on top of that, which should hopefully stick into my ganache. And I'm going to leave the extra bit on the board. Just play around with where you want that soil to go. Wipe off any bits you don't want on there. So there it is, all finished. Now, I think this one makes a really nice Mother's Day cake. Or a nice cake for anybody that likes flowers. Do have a go with the piping nozzles. They're really fun and easy to use. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.